Um, again, give uh, the credit to Pittsburgh. They made the plays uh, when they had to make them. Obviously, Antonio Brown made some tremendous plays, and uh, uh, it gave him a chance to win the game there. So, um, but again, I think our guys fought hard, and we had some we had some opportunities. We didn't make the most of them, and uh, we'll grow from that. You know, um, but I, I like I like my football team. I like the way they fight. Um, played hard. We had some chances, like I said, to make some plays. Just got to make them. And uh, I think our guys understand. I think this was a wake-up call for some of the young guys playing early, that how fast and how the game happens in every possession. Um, when you get opportunities to make plays, you got to make them. You know, and that's what good NFL teams do. So we're growing there. But again, I like this football team. And if we'll keep working, if we'll stay together, if we can stay healthy, um, we'll get to, you know, we'll get to taste victory, you know, and that's what we're chasing. So uh, we've got a big game next week, send a division against Baltimore. So uh, we've got to uh, get better fast this week. Deshaun Kaiser, what did you think of him as first NFL game? I like Deshaun. You know, I, I like the feel of him on the sideline with me. I love our communication. Uh, he did some good things. There's some, some opportunities that um, he's going to be the first to tell you wish he had back. Um, that's going to happen to a young quarterback. You know, but uh, but this guy gave us a chance. You know, he put the team in position. You know, to give us an opportunity to uh, make something special happen. Didn't finish it the way we wanted to, but I liked the first game with him. His first live big game. I thought he handled himself extremely well. Don't like to turn over. Be first to tell you that. Got to take care of the ball. And I, I've told our team the key to us winning is is taking care of the ball. Will be the key to us uh, winning a lot of games this year. So we got to do that better. But outside of that, I thought he made some some other plays. And every now and then, maybe held the ball a little too long. Uh, we'll grow from that. But I thought for the first game, he did some good stuff. Q, on those sacks, you mentioned maybe you held the ball a little Absolutely. Long. Do you think most of those were on Deshaun? Until I get a chance to watch it. I don't want to say that. But again, I think it's probably a combination of things. And uh, we got to learn from that. That's what young quarterbacks do from time to time. You know, you're waiting on things, waiting on things. And, and all of a sudden, you got to, you know, there's a rush that's coming. It's a real rush. You know, so he'll, he'll grow from that. And I know he will. Did he ever hurt in this game? Deshaun? Yeah. No. No, he, no, uh And he took some, some pretty good shots, too. I mean, that's why he's 230 pounds, you know. But uh, again, he's got to take care of himself a little bit better. We, we know that. You know, you can't keep taking hits like that. But um, again, like I said, for his first game, I thought he did some, some real good things. What did you think of the defense? Our, the no, I think our defense is, as I said, you know, I've been saying this since the summer. I think our defense is, is a good defense. You know, I think Greg does a great job in the defensive staff. I think we're playing um, inspired football over there. Um, and the guys are working hard. You know, this is a team game. You know, they're doing their job. Offense got to continue to do theirs, and special teams got to do theirs. And that's, that's how you build a football team. How critical was that opening sequence where you gave up the block punt touchdown? Oh, it, was, it was huge. You know, obviously, that's kind of the difference in the game when you look back. Uh, you know, the momentum switch. But again, we had a, a miscommunication there. You know, we let a guy go free. Uh, didn't handle that right, you know, early in the game. So that's disappointing, but um, we got to grow from that. You know, that happened early. So we had opportunities to go make some other plays on both sides of the ball. And we got to make enough to, when those things happen, to, to get a chance to win the game. Especially when you have a rookie quarterback out there, you have to make those plays there with like when Kenny Britt dropped the Oh, absolutely. Everybody's got to help him out. You know, this is a, I'm going to say it again, this is a team game. You know, it's not offense against defense and special teams. We all, this is the Cleveland Browns football team. And everybody, every member has got to do their job as well as they can for us to have opportunity to taste victory. So, and again, this is about helping a young quarterback. We do have a young quarterback, so everybody's got to make plays when you get opportunity to make them. Hey, Q, what did you see on that Antonio Brown catch late? And what did the official tell you? Why did what I thought is that the ball came out. I, th I thought he didn't have total control down to the ground. You know, I thought the ball did come out. It was loose. And uh, that's what I saw. And one of the officials kind of agreed with me. He says, yeah, that's why I said, are you challenging this? Because he thought we were going to win the challenge. Obviously, we didn't. Uh, that's, um, you know, again, we'll learn from that one as well. But that, that's got to take that chance. You know, I thought it was the right chance to take because, again, it would have been third and 18 for them, backed up. And um, it wasn't. Hugh, before the game, there was a report that you were irate that the, um, that the front office released Joe Hayden. Um, is, is that, <laughs> that didn't come from me. You know, I think you guys know me well enough. If I feel something, I'm going to say it. You know, I don't, I don't run from that. So uh, me and the executive team are working lockstep, hand in hand. 
I don't know where that came from. Uh, again, I trust Sashi. I trust our e executive team to make the right decisions for this football team. I stand behind that wholeheartedly. Never wanted to see Joe go, not saying that, but at the same time, we made a decision as an organization. I totally stand behind it. You mentioned the importance of sticking to the run. And the second half, uh, for all four quarters, in the second half, I think Isaiah had two or three rushes uh, compared to, I think, 15 in the first. Mm -hmm. Was there a reason of going away for the run? Well, there were some other opportunities that we had. And, we, you know, it led us to three points and ten points in the second half. You know, so, again, I, I would have liked to run the ball better. Uh, we got to continue to run it better and get better at it. You know, that's just what it is. We, again, you got to do what you think it takes to win the game. And that's what we did and gave us a chance. Hugh, can you be as effective as you want to be running the ball? No. Yo, you can be. Oh, no, you can be. We just wasn't today. You know, again, we're playing against, against a good defensive football team. Uh, last time I checked, they are pretty good, you know. And again, uh, first time out. And again, let's be honest, first time we've had all those guys together. First time Joel and Joe and our center, JC and Kevin and Sean played together in a game. You know, so I get it. You know, it's going to be a little bit of that growing and learning as we go. But I expect those guys to gel pretty quickly. The run game has got to become our backbone. It does. I'm not running from that. We're going to run the football here. We just got to get better at it. Antonio Brown does this against a lot of teams. We know that. But the lateness of the Hayden transaction contribute to some I'm secondary so breakdown? I'm sorry? The lateness of Joe's uh, transaction. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so, Tony. I don't think that had anything to do with it. You know, our guys had a chance to make plays. We didn't make them, you know. Um, Joe would have been here. He might not have made them neither. We don't know, but I don't think that had anything to do with that. We got chances to make plays. We got to make them. How did you feel like Sean did on third down? I mean, early in the game, he hit a couple of the, the third, 13, third and 11, and, and also a couple of fourth downs. Yeah, he made some plays. Again, I, I think he did some good things on third down. That's the money down for a quarterback. Just didn't make enough plays you know, on third down. You know, there were some other opportunities there. We just got to con continue to grow. Again, this is his first game. I mean, guys, we're not, we wasn't going to go 16-0, and 0, okay? So his game's behind us. We got next week. We got to get ready for this game and get better. And, and again, we've watched teams in the regular season make a huge jump in week two, you know, when you really can see, again, who you are, what you are, because I now know better exactly about who we are, because we played a real game with Deshaun playing all four quarters. You know, so I kind of know who we are, and we'll grow from this. You, you, uh, you talked to Deshaun immediately after the pick. Um, what did you see on that play you were playing? Yeah, because he just, I mean, again, that was a, he knows that that's a ball you can't throw, you know, not in that situation. And again, that's, uh, I've seen, I've had a, a lot of young quarterbacks make that choice and decision, think you can get it over a guy. And there's a little miscommunication about the route and those things. So again, when you're not sure, it's okay to say uncle and throw it away, you know. Uh, and he did that, you know, when we went to the last touchdown drive. He threw the ball to the back of the end zone. That's okay, you know, and it's okay to do that. You don't have to just throw it. So I'm going to always continue to coach him through it, uh, through every series, because I think I have to, because me and him are joined at the hip in this thing, and I think this guy is, is going to be a, a really good player, but he's got to keep getting better. What are some of the things you saw today that make you think you're more able to win games than you were last year? I'm watching our defense. Uh, I think our defense is a, a legit defense. I think, uh, I think there's going to be a running game as we go. You know, tonight, today wasn't as good as I'd like for us to run the football. I think we have the ability to throw the ball with this quarterback. I think he can also make some plays in a lot of different ways. Uh, we just got to keep growing on our side of the ball. Uh, special teams-wise, we got to tie some things up. But I saw Jabril Peppers running back kicks and doing some things that way. So when I look at our team, the team, we just lost to who everybody's favorite in the division, 21-18, OK? Uh, and we're going to have some games like that. We've got to find a way to score more points, uh, and we've got to find ways to stop teams better and be better on special teams. But I feel good about today. It's not a moral victory. I'm not saying that. But I watch our football team fight and play. There's grit. There's toughness. There's things we've talked about that I've seen that I needed to see as the head coach from the beginning, and it's showing itself. Now we just got to take it to another level. It seemed like you put a lot on Deshaun's play with some of the no-huddle stuff. What does that say about him that first game. He's a starting quarterback of a National Football League team. He can do it, okay? <laughs> he can do it, and he'll keep getting better at everything we do. You know, we play a lot of different ways. This young man, I told you guys, I mean, we didn't make him. He earned the right to be the starting quarterback of the Cleveland Browns, and I think you guys saw that today. I mean, um, 
It's not a lot of rookies can go out there and play against Pittsburgh and do some of the things he did. So he just got to keep going. I think it was a good start. We didn't win the game. That's the number one thing we want to do here is win the game. But if I had a feeling about our football team, there's a bunch of men that are disappointed. We thought we were going to win the game. That's the way we worked. I mean, we're expecting to win football games. So uh, that's, what I, that's what I'm looking for, and that's what we feel in that locker room. We're going to get better, and we've got to go to Baltimore and play good. With the, the, um, the thing you guys did pregame with the uh, military members and, and, and police officers and first responders, what did that mean to you to, to, to be able to participate? In it was that? huge. You know, we all are in this together, you know, and that's what it's all about. You know, I think whatever's gone on in the past, we let all that go. You know, I, I really appreciate our organization reaching out and them reaching back out to us and us being united uh, towards doing things better. And that's what it's all about. And again, we, we love our police department and our military and everything they do uh, for us. And, and again, we respect what they do. And I think uh, we showed that today. And I think we showed that we're all together in this.